Well, today we're done with uh, talking about COVID and uh, the lockdown. We're still in lockdown, but uh, today I want to talk about my cameras a little bit. Sometimes people overbuy the tools that they need for the job that they're going to do. Uh, take this case right here. You're going to frame a house and you need a claw hammer. Well, you buy a claw hammer, you don't buy a jackhammer. So sometimes I wonder uh, why people buy expensive, actually super expensive cameras to do YouTube videos when the device that uh, the YouTube video is going to be viewed on uh, really can't resolve the difference. So today that's what I want to talk about. I want to give you six reasons that uh, I haven't upgraded my cameras. I'm still using my little camera that I bought back in uh, 2018 uh, when I started doing my video. It's a Sony A5100 and I really don't have any reason to upgrade it. Today I'm going to tell you why and I'm going to tell you why I think it's still doing a great job. A lot of the information I've gotten about this camera and a lot of the uh, things that I do when I shoot, I owe to Aaron Prescott. Aaron's got a channel on YouTube and he kind of specializes on the A5100s and A6000s and I've learned a lot from watching him. But overall, this little camera is good and I don't need to upgrade and I'm going to tell you why. Well, I do shoot all my videos in 1080p. Now, granted, I've got an Osmo and sometimes I'll shoot it at, uh, I think it's 2700 or sometimes 4K and same with cell phones. I do that so I can reframe the shot. Uh, usually I'm using them for B-roll or something like that. My main cameras though are these A5100s and I can only shoot in 1080p because they don't do 4K. I like 1080p because the files are small it doesn't take much storage space. It's easy to edit. I don't have to transcode anything. Uh, I really enjoy shooting in, in 1080p. It works fine for me. Also, I can save more of my original footage than I can if I have 4K or 8K video. Uh, that just takes up too much room and I can't afford all the hard drives it would take to store it. I shoot a lot of video, so there's uh, uh, quite a case for shooting 1080p and not uh, future-proofing it with uh, 6K or 8K files. I just can't afford to store them. Well, one of the reasons is separate sound. I don't need microphone and headphone jacks on my camera. I record separate sound for everything. So that's one reason that you would upgrade uh, cameras is to get uh, audio in through a mic jack or a head and use a headphone jack on your camera and and i don't need it because i record everything separate sound i've got tascam recorders and i've got about 11 microphones and uh, honestly uh, the idea of recording into my camera doesn't really appeal to me at all the only thing that i use the camera audio for is scratch audio for sync Another thing I like about my little cameras, I like the form factor. I like the fact that you put the SD card in the side. I like the fact that the battery compartment doesn't interfere with the tripod or quick release mount. I can change a battery while my camera's on the tripod. I don't have to take it off. I really like that. Of course, the flip up screen's great too. Uh, you get all of the vlogging features of a of a ZV E10 or whatever, and uh, you don't pay that much for it. So I really like that. You can easily frame your shots and get good video with the little flip up screen on the uh, A5100. Hey, and surprise, it's also a touch to focus. That's a feature that you don't even find on some of the more expensive Sony cameras. Another thing too, is the autofocus. You know, I know that the A6400 and the A6600 and the, probably the ZV series cameras, they all have better autofocus than this little camera. But I really don't have too much of a problem with it. It works pretty good for me. I've used it in quite a few situations in low light, medium light, really bright light, 
and it focuses good. Not a problem. It also will track the focus pretty good. So I really haven't had a problem with autofocus. I know that I could get better autofocus with a more expensive camera, but I don't want to pay three times as much money for a camera uh, just for the autofocus when my autofocus is doing just fine. There's one little thing I want to address again is that no one really can tell what you're shooting with when they watch it on YouTube. If you look at your analytics on YouTube, you'll see that about half of the people out there, maybe more, are watching uh, on a smartphone. By the time you uh, compress and shrink a video down to fit a smartphone screen, it's gonna look pretty sharp and pretty clear. Uh, so main thing is to get some good audio behind that. The rest of the people are watching on a computer, uh, of which probably most have 1080p monitors or, or less if it's a laptop, uh, and a few are watching on tablets and some on a TV. But honestly, hardly anyone is still watching on a 4K or an 8K screen. It's just not happening. So if you upload in 1080 or upload your 1080 in 4K, you're going to get a pretty good image. And I don't think anybody really uh, can tell the difference. I think that if you follow the basic rules of videography and you uh, are in focus and exposed well, I don't think anybody's going to notice what you're using to shoot your videos with. I think you'll be uh, doing fine if you're using your smartphone right or if you're using your red Komodo. I just don't think anybody's going to be able to tell the difference. I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube that show just that. You can check it out yourself. Another thing is cost. A ZV series camera or a A6400 or 6600, I'm looking at north of $800 to upgrade and I've got several bodies to upgrade. So uh, the cost would just be prohibitive. I'd be spending two or three thousand dollars to upgrade my cameras uh, when I really don't need it. I'm still using the claw hammer. For the price I pay for an A5100, I can have a body for every lens I own. It's pretty cheap. And that way I don't have to change lenses when I do things. I can have a camera dedicated to a gimbal. That's really great. With uh, more expensive cameras, there's no way I could afford to do that. Well, that's about it. I'm keeping the A5100s until something really moves me to uh, change camera systems. I really like these. I might uh, go for an A6400 or a ZVE10 or something when the price has come down and there's some used ones on the market uh, cheap. I think that wouldn't be a bad choice. I especially like the A6400 because I like the flip up screen instead of the flip out screen. To me it's just more convenient. This is JR, the Text Patent Saigon. If you enjoyed this little video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. It's free. We'd sure like to have you on board. Thank you all for watching.